Here, we are going to solve some practice exercises. So, ang instruction sa atin dito is, let theta be an angle in standard position and P of theta be the point on its terminal side on the unit circle. So, unit circle yung magiging approach natin. We're asked to supply the following. A, an illustration of the angle. B, its reference angle. C, the location of its terminal side and the signs of coordinates. D, the coordinates of P of theta and, and E, the six circular functions. So, let's start with item number one. Una raw, we sketch the angle. So, we sketch it. Lalagyan natin siya sa standard position. And, this is how it should look like. We end here. This is 225 degrees. And then letter B, we are going to give its reference angle. So, ang reference angle natin will be this angle. And it measures 45 degrees. Dahil, if this is 180, kalahating revolution, then this must be 45 degrees para mabuo yung 225. Letter C, sasabihin daw natin yung location ng terminal side and the signs ng coordinates. So dahil siya ay nasa quadrant 3, we know that the coordinates are both negative. Now, we are going to find the coordinates of our point so we are now looking for the coordinates of this point. So how do we do that? We, we draw the right triangle. So parang in-extract natin tong part na to. This part. We draw the right triangle. And we know this is 45. So this must be 45 also. And dahil 1 unit ang haba nito, then this is square root of 2 over 2, and this is square root of 2 over 2. Uh, yung ating nakahiga will go to x. Yung nakatayo will also, uh, will go to y. Uh, para walang naman sila. And then the signs, pareho negative. Now we give the six functions. Ang sign is CY. Ang cosine, CX. Ang tangent, it's Y over X. This divided by this, pareho lang sila, so 1. While secant, uh, cosecant rather, is the inverse of inverse of this and the inverse of that is negative square root of uh, 2 that is 2 over square root of 2 while ang cosine nito ay ang inverse din nito ay secant so this is also negative square root of 2 the cotangent, the inverse of 1, is 1. So, that's it. Let's try negative 7 pi over 6. So, if mas comfortable tayo sa angle, pwede SL degrees, pwede natin i-convert muna to sa degrees. So, that gives us, na-encounter na natin siya kanina negative 210 and then we sketch it lagay natin sa standard position so this is a negative angle so ang rotation natin ay clockwise this is 180 already may naiwan na 30 so this is how it should look like and then um, ibibigay natin yung reference angle niya so ang reference angle niya is 
30 degrees, this angle, this angle, that is 30 degrees. And then, yung location niya is nasa quadrant 2 siya. Therefore, ang ating um, x ay negative at ang ating y is positive. While si letter D naman, we are going to find the coordinates of the point. So, extract natin ito. Hmm. So, then, picture ng ating right triangle. This is 30 degrees. This is 30 degrees. At this is 1 unit long. long. And, ang haba ng tapatan ni 30 ay 1 half. While this one is square root of 3 over 2. Yung nakahiga, pupunta kay x. Yung nakatayo, pupunta kay y. Tapos, negative ang x, positive ang y. So, hindi na natin ilalagay. Now, we give yung six circular functions. So, ang sign niya ay si y. One half. Ang cosine niya ay si x. Negative square root of 3 over 2. Tangent niya is one half over negative 3, negative square root of 3 over 2. This is negative 1 over square root of 3. Or pwede rin naman yan na negative square root of 3 over 3. Then, cosecant is inverse ng 1 half, 2. Cosecant uh, is inverse ng, ng cosine, that is negative 2 over square root of 3. Or pwede rin naman yung negative 2 square root of 3 over 3. While tangent is the inverse of uh, Ah, cotangent is the inverse of tangent, and that is negative square root of 3. Okay? Next item, we have negative 17 pi over 6. So again, if comfortable kayo sa degrees, convert muna natin siya sa degrees. This is 30 times 7, negative 17. That is negative 510. And gusto natin siyang isimplify pa. So we add 360, we get negative 150. So negative 150, negative siya kaya clockwise, titigil tayo ng darito. So, this is negative 150 degrees. This is how it should look like. So, B, ano ang ating reference angle? Ang reference angle natin ay ang angle na ito. So, if this is 150, may nawawalang 30 dahil half ng revolution ito. So, ang reference angle natin is 30. Location, quadrant 3. Sa so quadrant 3, negative ang x at y. Now, we find the coordinates of the point. So, extract natin yung triangle. This triangle. This measures 30. This is 1 half. This is square root of 3 over 2. Now, dahil ito yung nakatayo, this goes to y. At negative yan. Ito yung nakahiga. This goes to x at negative din yan. Now, we can give yung hinahanap na six circular functions. So, ang sign is yung y, negative 1 half. Ang cosine ay yung x, negative square root of 3 over 2. Ang tangent ay yung ratio between them, negative 1 half over negative square root of 3 over 2. This is positive 1 over square root of 3, or that is square root of 3 
OV3. Ang inverse ng sine is cosecant. So, this is negative 2. This one naman is negative 2 over square root of 3 or that is negative 2 square root of 3 over 3. While ang cotangent natin is negative square root of 3. Inverse lang ito. A positive. And then lastly, this one is 5 pi over 3. Convert ulit natin sa degrees. This is 6300. 300. So, sketch natin. This is 27300. So, ganito itsura niya. Letter B. Reference angle natin ay ito. This is 60 degrees. Kasi kung 300 yan, kulang ng 60 degrees para maging isang revolution. Letter C, nasa quadrant 4 tayo. Kaya, X ay positive, Y is negative. Hanapin natin yung coordinates. So, extract natin yung triangle. Extract natin ito. This is, uh, this measure 60. So, ito yung 30. So, ito yung square root of 3 over 2. Ito naman yung 1 half. So, itong nakahiga, this goes to x. At positive yun. Itong nakatayo, this goes to y. At negative yun. Now, we give yung anim na functions. Ang sign ay yung y. Ang cosine ay yung x. Ang tangent ay yung ratio between them. Ang cosecant is the inverse. Ang secant, inverse nito. While ang cotangent ay yung inverse nito. Alright. 